today we are going to start the incubation process of our goose eggs. I'm going to have to wash these because they came to me dirty. So I'm going to <laughs> attempt to wash them, which I know is risky, but it needs to be done. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, it's the Farm Innovators Incubator from Tractor Supply. I just added more water, so we're waiting for the humidity to get up to around 50 to 55 percent humidity and humidity with geese is very important i've been told that if it's low then you're not gonna have a very good hatch rate but first things first i gotta figure out how to get these eggs clean i've read a bunch of stuff um you can just use water some people use like a sterilizing bleach solution. I know that hatcheries will, san will sanitize their eggs with a bleach solution or an egg sanitizer before they hatch just to up their, their hatching rate. Here are what the eggs look like right now. If you put a dirty egg in the incubator, then you're going to introduce all sorts of bacteria and that will cause the eggs to not hatch. They will just rot. Now I have a little bit of bleach and a cup of water, and I'm just gonna dip them. I mean, it's just a tiny bit if the egg will fit in this cup. So I'm going to mark these on one side. So like I said uh, earlier, last time, I didn't have to turn the eggs, so I didn't have to mark them. And I'm hoping like that we at least get one goose. I'm gonna keep them in with my chickens. Um, and the reason for that is because geese are like a guard animal. So <laughs> they like imagine them as like a guard dog for your chickens. An aerial predator, predator fly over like a hawk or something. The geese is going to alert the chickens and then they're all going to fly under the coop. Um, last year when I did this uh, and I went live was during the beginning of COVID and the quarantine and um, I had a lot of really positive feedback because everybody was stuck at home and they needed something entertaining to watch and their kids loved watching it because it was educational and it made me feel good and I just I had to share it again this year and maybe it'll just become like something I do every year. So there we go, we've got them all in there with the X side turned up and that is so that we'll know that whenever we go to turn them, we'll know which ones we have turned. I'm gonna go ahead and spray them with the water. And you turn them 180 degrees. They smell like, I mean, okay, they were dirty, so they smell like the water. And then you add warm, wet heat to that. It doesn't smell great, I mean, I sanitized and cleaned my incubator beforehand, so it, so I mean, I don't know that you're ever going to get, like, the smell out of your incubator from a past hatch. That definitely was not that big yesterday. Wow. It's working! Do you know what that is? That's a baby goose! You see it? Today is day 10. So if you're rewatching this, nobody's in here yet. If you're rewatching this, it's day 10 of the incubation, and I wanted to show you what they look like today compared to what I showed you the other day. There's actually there's a pretty big difference, I think. But I've, I only looked at one this morning, and like they seem to be quite different from one morning to afternoon. Like they, they grow a lot. They grow fast. So it's a lot bigger than it was the other day. And you can see, do you see that black dot there? That's its eyeball. So right here is the goose. Still here, you can watch it move. You see, oh my goodness, this is really active. It's way more active than it was even this morning when I checked. Isn't that cool? So if you see here on the end, see how light it is here? Do you see that circle? That's the air sac. So, uh, and that's on the bigger end of the shell, you'll notice. So that's where the goose is going to pip internally and take its first breath of air before it goes to try to hatch out. Some of them you can see better than others, but if I hold it here for a second, you can sometimes see them move.
This one almost looks further along than the other ones, which is weird because I put them all in there at the same time. Unless, like, there was a goose sitting on this egg before I got it. So I'm going to try to show you what this looks like because I'm pretty sure that it is dead. So compared to the other ones, this one, it's not moved for like two days. There's that weird line. I don't see any healthy veins in there. I don't see the, those blood healthy blood vessels anymore. And it hasn't grown in a couple of days. So here's the other one that I don't think is alive. And you'll notice that these veins are like pulling together. Like they're not... That's, that's, it's, that's just not a healthy... And then you've got the, the ring around the top there. This These are going to be taken out of the incubator. Because it's almost lockdown day, and I don't need them exploding on me. And I'll show you what a healthy egg looks like here in just a second. So here is one of the healthy eggs, and as you can see, you can't really see anything. And so today is day 24. I mean, you, you can't see anything in there. If I hold still, you'll be able to see movement too. It's kind of hard to see because the egg is so full. But that's a good sign that the egg is full. So as you can see, this looks nothing like the other two, right? So it's good to be able to pinpoint that and to figure that out before lockdown day. Um, and, you know, candle your eggs. I candle, have candled mine frequently because I have to get in there to turn them by hand. I don't have an automatic egg turner and I just candle them when I have to get them out to turn them occasionally. And so I've been able to keep up. And so they only started dying within the last five days. So they all made it up until five days ago, which I kind of expected. I expected to lose a few eggs because of the washing. That being said, it's still interesting that they all made it up until about day 20. I'm taking them out for obvious reasons. Nobody wants a stink bomb. And if they were to explode in there with the healthy chicks and the healthy eggs, then that would kill the ones that are alive, right? So you just gotta be adamant on, on checking on the eggs. Today is day 30 of the incubation process for the geese, and I want to show y'all what's going on inside the incubator. There is a little pip, and there's one on that one back there. Look, there you can see it, and one right here. I haven't seen any on these two. Interestingly enough, I kind of figured that this one would be the first one to hatch, even if it hatched, because I found, right when I was candling, at the very end, I found a crack in this egg. I have no idea how it happened. Maybe the eggs were rolling around, like, whenever I put them in there and I was turning them. I don't know, but there was, there's a hairline crack, like, over here. And so the, um, I could tell that the air sac was a lot larger than the other ones. And, um... It's pipping right in the middle, but I figured that that one would be the first one to hatch. Even if it did, I wasn't expecting it to, honestly, because I was worried about bacteria getting in there. So far, two pips. I'll keep you updated. It is the next morning. And as you can see, they've not progressed much, but it takes 12 to 24 hours after the first pip for them to start working on zipping. And we also have a pip over here on this one, but on the fourth egg, we do not. No pip yet on the fourth one. So hopefully today, we'll have some baby geese. Hey everyone, uh, 
Um, so I think one of these little baby geese are getting ready to hatch, so I figured I'd go live. I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm just going to set the camera up, and you can come back in and check and see. Because, I mean, it could, it could take a lot longer, but I think that it's getting ready to hatch out, so. I want to add that during the whole incubation process, I did put a couple squirts of 3% hydrogen peroxide in the incubator every other day to help cut down on bacteria. So I'm not sure if that helped, but it definitely didn't hurt anything. And as you can see, we have a baby goose hatching. <gasps> there it is! Well, let me move the camera so I can see. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at it! Look at its little face! Oh my god! Hi! It's so big! Oh my god! Look at its face! Hi baby goose! Oh my goodness! Look at it! Oh! So guess what I got today at Tractor Supply while my geese are hatching. Yep, I um, I got some baby chickens. <laughs> I'm going to raise them up with the geese. So I went in there to get pine shavings and I saw these and I was like, all right, sure. So I think there's a two light Brahmas and two golden laced wine dots, which I've never had. So that's exciting. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to set up the brooder now and get everything going. Hey, babies. So I made this last year for my chicks, and I'm gonna use it again this year. It's just uh, some pieces of wood with some rabbit wire stapled on top of it. And this is what I'm going to be putting the water and the food on to keep them from scratching too much stuff inside of it. So I got their feet up here, and then in this water I put garlic, a little bit of honey, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. And this is going to help boost their immune system, get their energy level up, and all that good stuff. You know, this one's been hatched for hours. This is Coco. <laughs> And I'm about to introduce her to her little chick friends and see if she wants to eat or get a drink of water. Ready? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. I'll pick you up. Excuse the way I look, it's the next morning and there's been no progress on the assisted hatch. So with the assisted hatch, I asked my fellow goose group if I should even be doing this, and they said that they would. However, I feel like in retrospect, I should have left it alone a little bit longer. Because once I got it to a certain point, I realized that it wasn't ready to come out. I was still extremely careful about not breaking the membrane, only breaking the shell. There was, however, a little bit of blood, and when I saw the blood, I stopped and put it back in the incubator. Even when it got to a point to where it should have started hatching out, it did not. And it took a really, really, really long time for this goose to perk up. Uh, so here you'll see I was just barely peeling the shell back, not messing with the membrane. Um... And then I put it back in the incubator when I realized that, hey, you know, it, it was not done yet. But I kept it moist and put it back in there, got it warm, and in retrospect, I shouldn't have done that. So do your research beforehand and don't listen to random people on the internet. Kind of, you made it so foggy in there. You made it 
so foggy in there. There. There you go. You kind of see him? Or, yeah, I think that's... If, I mean, I don't know if you can do it by color or not. But look, it is yellow. Oh my goodness. You're a lot more yellow than, than I thought you were. It's been a couple of days since the first baby hatched and yesterday we had number two hatch and then we had the assisted hatch which in retrospect I shouldn't have done but I was just taking the advice of uh, a goose group online um, and it had been 48 hours since it had come out like put his beak out of the shell and <clears throat> there wasn't any progress progression at all at all he probably wasn't ready but at the same time he wasn't moving i don't know whether or not i did the right thing but i came over here this morning and look what i got in the, the incubator because it's just so yellow. This is Lemon. Say hi. And look, he's so, he's so big and healthy now. You're doing so good, yes. You wanna go meet your other friends? There you go. There you go. Look, they look just like you. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let me unplug this light for a second so you can see better. <clears throat> Look how cute he is. Hi, this is Peanut. And this is Coco. And Coco learned how to drink yesterday. You did so good. And the chickens are like, what have you done? <laughs> so this is the one that we helped hatch. What do you think? Is it cute? Is it the softest thing you've ever touched? Lemon, are you okay? You're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> 